this week it's a card trick with clocks. Because you love clocks. You're like, I love clocks so much. That's my impression of you. You love clocks. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Lynda.com. Welcome to the show that's like a straight curly fry that shows up in your onion rings. And at first you're like, I didn't order this, but then you're like, I kind of like curly fries. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have a super simple card trick you can do anytime, anywhere. It combines two previous tricks that we've learned, and it's awesome with clocks. So rock out with your clock outs with the card trick. I didn't, did I just say that? I said that. All right, so I got an email from a guy named Jeff Benning who told me one of his favorite tricks that he's been doing forever. And I did a bunch of research and I found out that the, the farthest back I could find it published was like in 1949 by a guy named Bill Turner. Uh, and apparently it's appeared in a bunch of other places since then, but I loved it. I fell in love with it just reading and I've never actually done the trick. This is a case where I'm just like, sure, seems legit, why not? Let's let's <laughs> let's rock this. So I need, All which right. one of you is more comfortable handling a deck of cards? Probably. Probably. Wow, that was fast, <laughs> yeah. like quickly, give it to Steven. All right, do me a favor, buddy. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to imagine that there's a clock face. Picture a grandfather clock and it's spinning very fast. Yeah, you decide the speed. It can be super fast, super slow, whatever you want, but the hours are ticking by. Let me know once you've got a good rhythm and you like the speed that you've selected. Okay. You got it? Yeah. I'm gonna say stop in a moment. Make sure it keeps going. I'm gonna say stop in a moment and you're gonna be on some hour from one to 12, okay? Whatever that hour is, that's gonna be your number. You ready? Mm-hmm. Stop. You're thinking of some hour, right? Whatever that hour is, I'm gonna look over this way. Do me a favor, I just want you to start dealing down okay. one for each hour. Yeah, and I want you to picture a gong every time you lay one down. You're like, gong, gong, gong. And then when you get to your hour, instead of setting that card down, I want you to take a little peek I want you to maybe show Jennifer, maybe show a camera, and then set it right back down on top. You got okay. it? All right, dude, go for it. All right, you got it? Yeah. All right. Take all the other cards, put them right on top. Okay. I don't want to be accused of messing with cards. People say you got sleight of hand wizard hands, and I want to prove that I'm an idiot, okay. which is not very difficult for me to do. <laughs> shuffle, give it a riffle shuffle. Go and riffle shuffle those bad boys. Just... That was a very nice riffle shuffle. You want to do, you want to do it again? Oh yeah, Go for, for sure. It. Go for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, screw that riffle shuffle. <laughs> it's good? Here's the thing, <laughs> you were not faking. Like I felt like you had a connection. Like, you know, you were caressing that grandfather clock. I saw There's the some clock. amount of your soul, your emotion that is bonded with that Mind card. Milled. I'm gonna take a little look-see here. I'm just gonna, you look at the cards, I'm okay. gonna look at you. When you see your card, don't freak out. Okay. But okay. your eyes are gonna do a little twitchy dilating <laughs> motion. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say screw all these cards. I'm gonna say, <laughs> Yeah, I'll say, screw these cards. I'm gonna say, uh, I wanna say it's one of these three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna say that's your card. That's Am I right? That's your card. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Did you guys like that? That was, that was good. awesome. All right, you wanna learn how it's done? Yes. Well, we gotta yeah. thank our sponsors. Woo, 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 woo. Five years. That's like half a decade, almost 300 episodes of Scam School. Not enough for my dad. He's always like, why don't you teach something useful instead of just scoring free beer? This is what you do with your time? Score free beers? Why don't you learn how to run a business or do online graphics? And I was like, I don't know how to do those things. He's like, well, you should be more like your older sister, Linda.com. I was like, I don't have a sister, Dad. He was like, Linda.com has 77,000 videos, Brian. How many do you have? I was like, well, like almost 300. Almost 300, huh? You're a disappointment. You need to be better like Linda. You go to Linda.com, 25 bucks a month, son. You're going to be able to learn something actually useful. You make more money that way instead of your free beers. And I was like, Dad, this is not like you. You don't have this accent at all. He's like, the hell I don't. I'm your dad. Why don't you be awesome and go to lynda.com slash scam school and sign up for seven days free. And I was like, Dad, that sounds like you just did a promo for scam school. He said, now I'm doing your job for you. And then he throws whiskey in my face. 
And he thanks our friends over at lynda.com. That was a lot of fun for me because for two reasons. First of all, I didn't know if the damn trick was going to work. I was just following the instructions that were sent to me. Second of all, this actually combines two techniques that we've already taught on Scam School before. A while back, we had Johnny Zavant on the show who taught us how to use a slug when doing your own tricks. We also covered something called the key card principle. This one combines the two. You got to do a little bit of pre-work before you set this up. Just go through and pull out all of the face cards and set them on the top of the deck. The only card that you actually need to know where it is, is the topmost card. Mm. So this is the, this is a case where we have both a slug and a key card. So we've got this chunk of all these face cards mm -hmm. on top. Now, personally, uh, I don't know why, but I've always liked the Jack of Clubs has always been my favorite card in the deck. So I, I make <laughs> sure that the Jack of Clubs is on top. That'll be easy for me to remember. So all of these cards like this, you got this on here. Now you want to convince people that you're not setting anything up ahead of time. So what you could do is I was taking cards from the bottom third of the deck and then kind of doing a pharaoh shuffle or you could do a ripple shuffle as long as you keep those top 12 cards on top. Now because you have a slug of 12 cards, that's why the whole imagery of the clock works so well. So again, now in this case, you could say pick any number from one to 12, you could simplify it. I like the imagery of you having a consistent motion and me telling you stop. It feels so private and personal of a way for you to come up with your number, right? So you get any number you want and now here's the tricky part. Anytime you do a trick that involves you giving directions without watching what they're up to, you have to be super specific and direct in your conversation. I recommend that you have a friend who's maybe seen the trick before who can make sure that they're following the rules. So in this case, what do you got? You got a block of cards on top, all face cards. You know the top card is your key card, in this case, the Jack of Clubs. I asked you to have a private number. What, what private number did you have? Eight. Eight. So you ask them, again, very clearly, whenever I do anything that involves dealing down and counting, I always say, uh, nice, neat pile, neatness counts, that kind of thing. So you get them focused on something to make sure that they don't mess up the order. So they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they get to eight, take a little peek, and then this is this is their card, okay? So the Queen of Diamonds is their card. Make sure they replace it back and then put the other cards on top, which means we don't know what their card is, but we know it's underneath what? The, the Jack of Clubs. The Jack of Clubs, yeah. your key card. So okay. you drop it on there, all right? So again, we don't know what their card is, we don't know where it is, we know what's underneath the Jack of Clubs. Then I say give it a ripple shuffle. Now here's, that's this is the deal buster. Mm. Normally, that's how you prove that it's not a key card effect, is by making them do a ripple shuffle to undo where the key cards go. But you can actually have them do it twice, and what you end up with is all of the face cards are spread throughout the deck. And that's what's great, is you can spread this right in front of their face. Now in this case, I told you deliberately to look at the cards, which means as I spread them, there needs to appear to be nothing you know, right. weird about them. You cover your own tracks by shuffle, having them shuffle it. You have them clean up the mess after you, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, all you gotta do is look for, I bet Steven knows where this is headed. What do you, what do you suppose you do next? Now you just look for the Jack of Clubs. Look for the, look for the Jack of Clubs, mm -hmm. and it is where? It vanished, that's the, the, I, that's the, the trick. second <laughs> trick. <laughs> Apparently I lost, no, there, okay, there so, so, there and, and so how do you know which one is theirs? Because it's the one that's right on top of it, to be the Queen of Diamonds. Wait, wait, when you say the Perfect. one, It'd be the face card. The face card, the first face yeah. card underneath, face card. that's theirs, right? Because we know it had to be a face card yeah. because it was the top 12, and we know it's right underneath the key card, so we find that one. So at this point, we know the Queen of Diamonds. Now, personally, this is a, uh, a matter of, of performance. In general, I like people to believe that maybe, just maybe, like if I claim to have psychic powers, you know I'm a liar and an asshole, <laughs> right? But if I say I'm watching your eye for dilation, yeah. Maybe, you know, just, just yeah. maybe, right? Yeah. Then, then maybe it would actually work. I so it. I prefer I to do it that way. Uh, but then in this case, at that point, you know their card, it's all presentation. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Um, yeah, if, what if they just do the one ripple shuffle? Is that gonna affect it any No, in fact, so. you, you really, two is the max. Because what happens is, is first of all, those top 12 cards, that first ripple shuffle, are gonna spread them throughout the first half of the deck. The second ripple shuffle spreads it throughout the rest of the deck. A third ripple shuffle, mm -hmm. now you're double blending mm -hmm. the face cards and you're shifting the order of them. Mm -hmm. So really, if they want to stop after just one ripple shuffle, that's even better, to be honest. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. All right, who is going to perform this for me? <laughs> Sorry, Jennifer, you've been busted. Okay. All right, here we go. So. Oh, Jennifer, I understand you're skilled at ledger domain. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to think of a private number between one and twelve. Oh, number yeah. between one and twelve. Okay. So you're going to think of your number. And once you get, once you think of your number, you're going to deal down until you get to that number. Okay. Stop. Take a peek at your your card, and then put it back, and then replace the cards on top. Got okay. it? That seems legit. Okay. But you Got better this. not look, because otherwise you you have I'm magic powers. All right. Okay. 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 She's uh, not looking. I'm not looking. She, I'm not looking. she didn't tell me to gong this time. So yeah, I don't okay. Know. Well, you can gong internally. Go for it. <laughs> Bro, bro, what's your secret card? Show me your secret card, bro. <laughs> bro, let me see your card. <laughs> That's you. That's you. That's all You're me. the... Because you go the... <laughs> and you... <laughs> because you're the hurry up! <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, all right, there we go. All right, put, put the rest of those on. Are you on ready? There. Yes. Okay, we're good. good. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> you got everything good. Um, so now what you do is you're gonna go ahead and just give it a little shuffle. Give it a little shuffle. A little shuffle, bro. shuffle, shuffle. Put a little for me. It's all riffled and shuffled. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What should it be? doing some wizard power stuff. What I don't understand. Yeah, it's I like don't know. <laughs> Okay, so these are... Oh, screw yeah, those. those are Those, those are, are out of those picture. Are, those are those They're crap. evil. Those are morally those are bankrupt cards. Those are crap. Okay, let's... Uh, hmm. This is tough. This is tough. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what could be. What could it be? What could it be? Could it be that? What? That is my yes. card! The king of clubs! What? I'm You're the king of clubs! Now. He's dancing at the clubs! Illusion. Holy huzzah! Illusion. That is amazing! <laughs> Toast this woman! Thank Illusion. you so much, Jennifer! That Woo. was awesome! <laughs> Tacos! Ugh. The thing about the clock card trick is that it uses techniques that you've already done before, but combines them in a unique way where the methods cancel each other out. This thing is unbustable. Nobody's going to realize that you set it up because they hide the evidence by the time it's over. Speaking of which, I want to hear about your success stories and failure stories, so post them in the comments below. I read all of that stuff. It's like a sickness, a disease I have. The same disease that causes me to do card tricks at bars. And by the way, we should be best friends, so keep me up on social media. I respond to all of that stuff. Twitter.com slash wood, Facebook.com slash wood, Google.com slash plush wood. And don't forget to join us next week because we are going to learn how to do a keg stand upside down, which some of you are going to think like Brian that's just drinking a beer normally. And I'm like, well, let's just find out after I have a couple more of these. My reverse keg stands. Dude, I could do these all night. Stop. No, you too. Okay, no. you won't have to tell me. No, you didn't, that, was good, that was a good I practice run, though. Let's do it. No, no, that's great. It's longer than a woman. All these cards should be ashamed of themselves. Ready? Yeah.